a different kind of video for me. Um, I don't think I've ever made a video like this, but I will tell you what. In the last month, I have had so many requests for this video that finally, today after getting a request on eBay from a uh, new reborn mommy, I just, or she was looking for help. She wasn't looking for a request. She was just looking for a video. I just was like, you know what? I'm going to make this video because I have had a lot of requests. I swear, I feel like it's almost a daily request. So I'm just going to go over some things that I think can help somebody as a new reborn mommy. I know that this is going to be different for everyone and um so I just you know I'm gonna share my view on it definitely you can seek out other videos everybody's gonna have their own opinion but when it comes to me and my reborns I like to do whatever makes the doll look realistic so my point in having the reborns is I want a hundred percent realism um I want to be able to take my doll out in public and nobody thinks it's a doll. So basically, I'm just going to go over a few things on uh, some things you can do as a new reborn mommy that will help you um, add realism into your doll. I'll go over a couple do's and don'ts uh, in maintenance with the dolls and stuff as well. This is just going to be a floor by the seat of my pants video because I don't have anything planned for it. But first, we're going to go with the car seat. So, if you're going to take your baby out shopping, I suggest you get a car seat. Uh, this car seat, I think, was $49 at Walmart. You can get them at yard sales. You can get them at swap meets. You can get them uh, secondhand stores. So, you can get them from friends that have had babies. It doesn't have to be a new car seat. I recommend that you get a car seat, especially when traveling with the baby in the car, because... If somebody in a taller vehicle than yours looks down in the passenger seat and they see a baby lying there because they're going to think it's a baby, you have the potential of being reported, getting a ticket. I don't know what will go on with that, but I'm just saying it probably won't be good. It would make for a good video, but it just, you know, I don't really know how that's handled. So I recommend getting a car seat. Also, you know, if you're going to take your doll out in the store and you just want to go shopping with you and your baby... And you, there's a thumbtack in his car seat. And you don't want anybody to think that your baby is a doll. I definitely recommend getting a car seat while shopping. Now, um, it is important to put them in the car seat realistically. Now, babies don't typically ride in the car seat without the uh, seat belt on or straps, whatever you want to call them. So when you're out in public and you want to keep the realism with your reborn doll, you should always make sure to have them strapped in. And not only have them strapped in, but have them strapped in accordingly to the law. Because you do have those busy bodies who can't mind their own business and they will point it out that your child's chest strap is not in the right area. So that chest strap is supposed to go right here basically at their shoulders well their armpits it goes at their armpits so you find your armpit on your baby and put that there also a newborn is going to need the head support so you should have a head support uh, most car seats come with these nowadays in here if not you can make it out of a receiving blanket or you can buy one and a good thing is is to always kind of tilt the head to the chest maybe push it to the side a little bit tilt it down because babies tend to, um, especially at a young age, they tend to have their head, you know, downward, not like straight forward or sometimes they'll be up like this, but it's more so they're resting to the side, you know, their chin is down. That adds a lot of realism. Believe it or not, it does. Um, also newborns, newborns typically don't go outside without blankets. Uh, in the summertime, they have a receiving blanket, so always, especially now that we're going in the winter, so we're going to focus on a winter time, right? So let's see. We're going to go with. It needs a blanket to be covered. Um, 
you know, we're going to use this blanket because this blanket has holes in it. Okay, so you're going to need a blanket for in the car seat. Babies, it's winter time, newborns get cold, their hands should be covered, they shouldn't be just hanging out because if you, you know, you're keeping your baby warm, it's sleeping, so you should have them tucked in. Also, when you're traveling, it's in the winter time, so you're traveling from the car to the store, you're going to want to have another blanket, which, let me see what you guys can see. You put on top of the canopy of the car seat, so there's the handle, and then you carry it that way. So the baby's covered, so wind is not going in there, and people are not freaking out. So see, there's baby. The wind is being shielded as you're walking into the store. And then basically, when you get in the store, you can just lift the blanket up this way and keep it like so. And that way, if you ever feel like, st say you're standing in line and you don't want nobody to be looking because they're going to be like, they might realize the baby's not moving, you can just pull the blanket back down. So that is my tips and tricks on um, how to, you know, take them out in public. How to put them in the car seat so they look real. Um, it works for me all the time. I will tell you guys that I don't really get ever asked if that's a doll. Um, they always ask me how old my baby is. Okay, so this is a huge pet peeve of mine. So we've got Baby Leaf here. Um, he's in a bouncer. And like I said, I like the realism when I do anything with my dolls. I find... Even my friends, they pick up my dolls and they just put them back in the bouncer like that. And I'm like, really? Is that how you would put your baby in the bouncer? Because their butt is supposed to be at the butt of the bouncer. So, I always like to have my babies looking real. This is another good place. If you don't want to buy a crib, you should always have a place for your reborn. Whether it's a car seat, or you get a bouncer, or you get a crib, or you get a bassinet. Or you get a lot, whatever you can afford. You may not be able to afford these items, so you get a laundry basket, or you get a cardboard box. You can take a cardboard box in the laundry basket, put a pillow in the bottom, cover it with a blanket, create your own bed for the babies. You can even use like one of your dresser drawers. You should always have a place to place your reborns. They're, you know, they're collectible artwork, they're expensive, so you just don't want to just throw them anywhere. Plus, you want realism behind it, so. A baby is never just thrown on the floor or on your bed, unless it's like, you know, napping on your bed. But in a bouncer, this drives me nuts, they have straps, so if you want them to look real, you just put them in the bouncer and you strap them in. Remember, because we're going for, you know, how can I make my doll look real? Um, you know, you're just, you're enjoying the realism behind the art. If you don't make it appear to look real, then it just looks like a doll. And that's not the point of it. So, um, once again, the bum is on the bottom seat. Little head. So here he could be like, because he's more laid back, he's resting. You just want to give them a very natural look. Nothing like, um... You know, their legs up like this, their feet twisted the wrong way. You just want them to lay very naturally. So you can put his head like this. You can put his head straight forward because that looks natural with him. His little hands up, little hand, you know, in front of his face. I always like the side look, kind of like that. My babies tend to... Um, one time my brother pointed it out. He's like, why do your babies always look to one side? And I'm like, well, because I like that. So, um, there you go. I like them always sitting like that in my bouncer. And then, um, I don't personally strap them in, but I'm just trying to help you guys. Like a lot of new reborn parents are always like, I don't want people to know it's a doll. So I'm trying to help you, um, in ways that you won't know it's a doll and then you just put the little blanket over them tuck them in there you go look at that like so real okay so i'm going to show you guys this is a changing pad so i'm going to show you guys like how you can position your baby when they're laying down um you know to add realism we're just i'm just all about what can we do to make your baby look real 
So we're going to use Baby Skylar. Some people might be like, who the heck is Baby Skylar? Well, he's a doll that I got, and I think I literally only made one video with him. So here's Baby Skylar, and he looks very natural laying on his side. So that right there looks really good for him. He's a great side baby. Now, you know, when I say natural, you just don't want to, like, well, he falls naturally. Look at that. He lays really well. This might not be the right thing. I'm saying, like, um, you know, how is it? Oh, like this. He's, look at that. That doesn't look natural. His back is arched up. He looks like he's going to have a fit. So you just really work with your doll. Because look at that. I already put him in a different position. Sorry, the lighting is bad in here. But I just wanted to use <laughs> a flat area to kind of show you. So he, you know, it's all about just positioning them right. Tucking their chin to their chest. Some babies sleep with their hands in their face. Like, look at that little guy. And, um... You know, you can do sleeping on their back. I don't know. Let's see if he's a stomach sleeper. Okay. See, he's not a good stomach baby. So you wouldn't want to put him on his stomach because it just doesn't look natural for him. It's about getting to know your baby. You know, play with your baby See how your baby flows into a natural position. That's a very natural position for Skylar. Um, it's just getting to know your reborn. You know, how can I pose my reborn so that my baby looks real? Okay. So I've just gone over a few different w things to put your baby in and how to put them in. Now we'll talk a little bit about care. All right. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to maintain his hair. <laughs> I thought it wasn't filming. <laughs> a lot of babies have, well, most babies should, they're directionally rooted. And you can see that by how the hair um, kind of lays. And so when you brush your baby's hair, which I, I don't know, I may do once a month, if the doll makes it that long. I may do once a month. But, and I recommend you use a toothbrush because it's, Hair is very delicate, so you just follow the direction. And you'll know when you brush it the wrong way, it doesn't lay properly. Properly, See, look at how it just looks messed up. So you follow the direction it's rooted in, and that takes time. You definitely, when you get your baby, the first thing you should look at is its hair pattern to try to be like, okay, that's how I need to brush the baby's hair. So you just follow in direction, very gentle, Obviously, if your baby has painted hair, this isn't going to be a problem. And see, his hair looks really cute. Now, I do get a lot of questions about what can you put in the hair to maintain it. I don't recommend you put anything in the hair. Um, in all my time of having reborns, making reborns, I've never had to put anything in the hair. If it's a good mohair, it doesn't need to be conditioned. Um... That's just my experience. I've never had to condition any of my doll's hair. And some of you might be like, oh, you haven't had a doll long enough to know. No, I have. I had Heavenly for almost a year, and she was rooted with Slumberland Mohair, and I never had to condition her hair. I've never had to condition any of my doll's hairs. But And so and I really stick to uh, Delta Dawn and Slumberland. They have... Really, that's one of my go-to mohairs, and I'm going to start venturing out on some others that some people <laughs> like. But with those brands of hair, it never needs to be conditioned. You know, you can do a spray of water. If you if it seems a little frizzy, you can just do a spray of water and brush it out. But um, I do a lot of hand styling with my dolls. I try to not brush them because, believe it or not, the hair is super delicate no matter how good of a rooter you have, um, the hair with too much time of, you know, brushing will start to break off. It's just, you know, it's not meant to be handled very much. So you just want to 
there are some areas of your baby you just want to treat like art. Now these are all my personal opinions and my personal preferences. So you guys may find other information somewhere else and something that you know you disagree with on with me. Some people do condition their doll's hair and I just I don't recommend it. Because with time I don't know what it's going to do to the paint. So um or the hair because it's you know it's not real hair and I don't know. So I don't do any of that. But also, when it comes to the dolls, they don't need baths. They're reborns. Um, they're not silicones. So you don't want to, like, bathe them with soap and water. If you feel like they're dusty, which that does happen, it's good to just um, take, like, a little makeup brush, a new clean one. Uh, <laughs> not a dirty one, like an eyeshadow brush. And you can just dust out their eyes and their ears, wherever you feel it's dusty. You can also take, like... Um, a wet cloth and just gently rub them down don't scrub at them but just gently rub them down but don't put any lotions or oils on your baby um, I know people if the dog gets like stains from jeans I've heard I've heard about them putting acne cream on there I don't I've never done that I never will do that I just won't put any creams on my dolls I try to remove the Gene, if that were to happen and cover it up, I've had to try to fix some people's gene stuff and it's really hard to get rid of. So with that, with saying that, I recommend if you're going to put jeans on your dolls, first off, I don't recommend you do it. I rarely put jeans on my reborns, but if you're going to, you should make sure that they have their socks on first. So when the gene is going on, it's rubbing the socks, not the toes, because the jeans will stain the vinyl, and like I said, that's something that's very hard to take out. I also recommend, if you're paranoid like myself, I put on socks, and I pair, put on a pair of, like, tight leggings on the baby, and then I put the jeans over that. And then also keep in mind not to let their hands rub on the jeans, so I always, like, will have hand mittens on them. I, I rarely put jeans on them because... Um, it's just so risky. But jeans is the only one I really worry about. If it's black, I tend to put, I make sure to just have socks on them first before dragging the black pants over their toes. Um, just because, you know, I don't want to take any chances at uh, staining the vinyl. Also, when I put on their clothes, especially with rooted babies, I make sure to, like, kind of, I don't, pull my tops down over their heads because I don't want it pulling on the hair. I try to like, um, what is it? I try to open the top as much as I can, like just gently pull it around er their head. I never try to force clothing over, especially with the rooted hair because you just don't want to, um, break it off or anything like that. You just want the rooted hair to last as long as it possibly can. So... Yeah, I'm thinking that is about it for my uh, New Reborn Moms video. If you guys have any other topics you'd like me to cover, you guys as the New Reborn Moms, please uh, feel free to comment down below and I can make a video touching base on those topics. Uh, right now, I was just like, I really don't know what all to go over, but I thought this would be a good start. I hope that it's answered some questions. I hope that it's made you feel more comfortable with your real born and how to make your real born look real so you will be inspired to take your reborn out um, and not think that they're going to think it's a doll. So yeah. All right guys. Well, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to In Love With Reborns 2011. You know, click that notification button, turn on the bell, don't ever miss a video, like this video, share it with your friends! Did you do it? Hello?